Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. Today's video is full of surprises. As in, surprise the people in your life with this interactive activity of Hatchem Eggs. Yes! Enjoy the excitement as they submerge each special egg in water and eagerly await for their friend to hatch and grow. So, let's get started. You can get it from these two places. There's one here and the other one is here. I go to this one. So let's see what I've got. I've got an alien egg. Ooh, creepy. I've got a unicorn egg. Magical. I've got a crocodile egg. Ooh, scaly. I've got a chicken egg. That's proper. I've got a snake egg. Ooh. Fangy. And I've got a pangling egg. That's for you, Mr. Benedict Cumberbatch. Here is the fish growing pet egg. Flamingo growing pet egg. Dinosaur egg one. Dinosaur egg number two. Now, the instructions are at the back. You have to put them in a container full of water. After 12 to 24 hours, the pet will come out of the egg and you have to change the water again and let your pet expand and it will be completed after 48 hours. Fully. Hmm, interesting. Same instructions here at the back. I'm really excited about the unicorn one. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, now if you don't want to change the water in between um, just break break the egg okay I'll show you something I got like extra two so this is the snake one yeah, yeah this is a snake one pretty cute and this is the unicorn one how precious is This is a unicorn one. Is it cute? Oh my god, that is so cute. So if you don't want to bother changing the water in between to get rid of the eggshell, this is what it actually looks like. Ooh, the water comes in and softens the egg. This is the alien one. Alien one is wearing a suit. Is it off to work? Hmm, interesting. So this is what the egg looks like inside. It's pretty cool. So if you don't want to change the water in between, you can just break the egg like this, take out your pet, and just leave that in the water for two or three days. I will show you another one. This is a chicken one. This is what the egg looks like. It has holes in it to allow the water to come in. And this is the chicken. So that is the chicken, the unicorn, the alien, the snake. I don't know what the crocodile one it looks like and the penguin one. So we'll see. So I've got my bowl of water here. So I'm just going to dip these in. Off you go. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cute. You have to remove this and you have to dip this egg in the water. Okay. Can you hear it sink? It's two reals each. It's really affordable. Now I'm opening the snake one. The crocodile egg. Ah, oh, so pretty. Can you hear that? 
chicken egg. This is a chicken egg. Mm, looks, I love the colors on these eggs. They're so like metallic. Unicorn egg. Oh, the egg colors are so pretty. Alien egg. So I put them all in the water. I'm excited for all of them, but I'm especially excited for the unicorn one. Oh, look! It got weird. It's so slimy. Ah, I have that jelly thing on my hands. Ah. So after 12 to 24 hours, the eggshell will break. After that, I have to change the water again, add new water, and leave the pets to grow. Please make sure you cover this so that no dust can come inside and your water stays clean for the growing pets. So it's in plastic, remove the plastics, remove the paper, two bottom holes, one top hole. Let's put it in the water, blah, 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 pink one, remove the plastic, also dunk it in the water. I'm absolutely loving the colors. And here are the two dinosaur eggs. And, oh, it's the crocodile hatched. It's so cute. Why is it stuck? Yeah. Welcome to the world, little buddy. In you go with the rest. So the eggs have hatched. You can see they totally become they they break down. Here is the baby flamingo. I'm going to remove it from the egg. Now this is all the eggy gunk that you have to remove from the bottom of the container. You have to get rid of all this junk and then you have to change the water as well. Okay, so here we have here we have the baby dinosaur. It is so adorable. Okay, it's still not grown. I got really impatient, so I broke them out of their eggs. But you can see that they're still small. And this is the fish. At this stage, they're kind of in the middle of being slimy and hard because the water has not been absorbed all the way, so the texture is really, really weird. Okay, now this egg also has the dinosaur. Uh, just so impatient. And yes, look at the mess at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to break it out, all of the egg shell, and then I'm going to free the dinosaur. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, still you can see that it's not absorbed all the water, so it's slimy on the outside and still hard on the inside. It's a good view of the little buddy. I've put them in a new container with fresh water. So here's the new container. I've covered it so no dust could go inside. It's been a week since the eggs hatched. Let's see how they turn out. Whoa! The word alien is a popular word for an extraterrestrial life form or a being from another planet. No one knows whether there is life elsewhere in the universe, but some scientists think that it is possible. Whether life exists on other planets or not, the idea of aliens has excited people for years. Some facts about snakes. Snakes don't have eyelids. Snakes can't bite food, so they have to swallow it whole. Snakes have flexible jaws, which allow them to eat prey bigger than their head. Snakes have internal ears, but not external ones. Well, that's obvious. Snakes used in snake charming performances respond to movement, not sound. There are around 3,000 different species of snakes. Snakes have a unique anatomy, which allows them to swallow and digest large prey. Snakes shed their skin a number of times a year in a process that usually lasts a few days. Snakes smell with their tongue. Penguins are flightless birds. While other birds have wings for flying, penguins have adapted flippers to help them swim in the water. Penguins eat a range of fish and other sea life that they catch underwater. Penguins can drink seawater. Penguins spend around half their time in water and the other half on land. 
Chickens aren't completely flightless. They can get airborne enough to make it over a fence or into a tree. These birds are omnivores. They'll eat seeds and insects, but also larger prey like small mice and lizards. Bonus fun fact, chicken pox has nothing to do with chickens. Alligators are reptiles. Like other reptiles, alligators are cold-blooded. Alligators have a powerful bite, but the muscles that open the jaw are relatively weak. An adult human could hold the jaws of an alligator shut with their bare hands. Alligators eat a range of different animals such as fish, birds, turtles, and even deer. The unicorn is a fictional character that exists in many legends and children's stories. The unicorn is often depicted as a white horse-like creature with a long horn protruding from its head. It has been depicted in various cultures as being a symbol of purity and grace, and sometimes able to heal the sick. Greek writers included unicorns in accounts of natural history and not mythology because they believed they were real. Some efforts to prove they existed have included reconstructing a so-called unicorn from fossils of a mammoth and woolly rhinoceros. Although they exist in folklore and legends, there is no proof that they ever existed. Flamingos are a type of wading bird that live in areas of large shallow lakes, lagoons, mangrove swamps, tidal flats, and sandy islands. Flamingo legs can be longer than their entire body. The backward bending knee of a flamingo's leg is actually its ankle. The knee is out of sight further up the leg. Triceratops means three-horned face in Greek, so this was a three-horned dinosaur. Triceratops were herbivores, meaning they ate plants and not animals or meat. They probably ate many varieties of plants, and many have used their large bulk and strength to knock down trees in order to get at leaves like current-day elephants. The Triceratops had rows and rows of teeth, as well as a sharp, hard beak, allowing them to slice and crush all sorts of vegetation. Despite their fearsome appearance, they did not kill other dinosaurs for meat, but they likely would have defended themselves well from predators. Now, the Parasaurolophus dinosaur had a broad, flat mouth that looked like a duck's beak. It was a very unusual looking dinosaur. They were herbivores. The word Parasaurolophus means near crested lizard. The most distinctive feature was a large crest that emerged from the back of its head. Now, the most likely explanation is that it enabled this dinosaur to make loud trumpeting calls. Now, it was believed it was able to move either on two legs for faster speeds, running away from predators, or on four legs for foraging. Fish facts. Okay, fish have gills that extract oxygen from the water around them. The collective name for a group of fish is a school. Relative to their body size, fish have small brains compared to other animals. Fish are covered in scales, which are often covered in a layer of slime to help their movement through water. The diet of a fish depends on what type of fish it is. Some fish are herbivores who only eat plants, while others are carnivores who only eat meat. A lot of fish that live in coral reefs eat plants and algae because it is in their habitat. Fish that are carnivores will eat other fish, shrimp, krill, crabs, or even squids and octopus. There are over 30,000 different kinds of fish. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!